JavaScript is everywhere. It powers modern websites, handles user interactions, and even controls critical security functions. But what if I told you that hackers use JavaScript as a powerful weapon? JavaScript is not just for web developers only. Hackers use it too. From exploiting vulnerabilities to writing custom payloads, JavaScript plays a crucial role in web security. In this video, we will break down top 10 advanced JavaScript exploitation methods for hackers, covering how it's used in penetration testing, top advanced method of JavaScript web exploitation, automation tasks, and how you can leverage it for ethical hacking and penetration testing purposes. Stick around to level up your hacking game. Disclaimer. This video is for educational purposes only. The techniques and concepts discussed are intended to help ethical hackers, cybersecurity professionals, and developers understand JavaScript from a security perspective. Misusing this knowledge for illegal activities is strictly prohibited and may lead to severe legal consequences. Always practice ethical hacking within legal boundaries and with proper authorization. Stay responsible and use your skills for good. Let's dive deep into the world of JavaScript for hackers and do not forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Before we dive in, here's what we'll cover in this video. Number one, introduction to JavaScript for hackers. Number two, setting up your hacking environment. Number three, understanding JavaScript basics for hacking, variables and functions in JavaScript, accessing the DOM, manipulate the DOM. Number four, what is cross-site scripting or XSS? Types of XSS, exploiting cross-site scripting or XSS, exploiting reflected XSS, bypassing XSS filters. Number five, phishing using JavaScript, creating a fake login form, capturing user input. Number six, manipulating the DOM for security testing, bypassing client-side validation, modifying HTML elements. Number seven, automating attacks with JavaScript, brute forcing a login. Number eight, JavaScript and networking attacks, making HTTP requests. Number nine, scraping data from websites using JavaScript scraping data using JavaScript. Number 10, exploit JavaScript vulnerabilities. Insecure eval function, insecure deserialization. Number one, introduction to JavaScript for hackers. JavaScript is one of the most powerful and widely used programming languages on the web. It controls everything from user interactions to data processing and even security mechanisms within modern websites. But for hackers, JavaScript is more than just a development tool. It's a gateway to understanding and exploiting web vulnerabilities. Hackers leverage JavaScript in various ways, such as injecting malicious scripts into vulnerable websites, cross-site scripting or XSS, manipulating browser behavior, stealing cookies, and automating exploits. Since JavaScript runs directly in the browser, it can be used to gather sensitive data, interact with web applications dynamically, and even bypass certain security restrictions. For ethical hackers and penetration testers, mastering JavaScript is crucial. It helps in analyzing web applications, understanding how client-side security works, and developing scripts for automated testing. Whether you are looking to enhance your bug bounty skills, strengthen web security, or understand how attackers think, JavaScript is a must-know language in the hacking world. Number two, setting up your hacking environment before diving into JavaScript hacking, it's essential to have the right tools. Web browser. Use Google Chrome or Firefox, both equipped with powerful developer tools for inspecting and manipulating JavaScript. Developer tools. Open them with F12 or Control plus Shift plus I to analyze web elements, run JavaScript in the console, and debug scripts. Use VS Code, Sublime Text, or Notepad++ to write and test JavaScript scripts efficiently. Node.js, if you plan to run JavaScript outside the browser or work on server-side exploits, install Node.js for more flexibility. Security testing tools like Burp Suite or OWASP Zap allow you to intercept HTTP requests, manipulate JavaScript code, and analyze web vulnerabilities. Number three, understanding JavaScript basics for hacking. Before diving into exploits, it's crucial to understand how JavaScript works at a fundamental level. JavaScript allows you to define variables to store data and functions to manipulate and execute tasks. Variables and functions in JavaScript. Here's a simple example of a function that checks login credentials. This function verifies a username and password. Hackers analyze such functions to manipulate authentication processes, test for weak passwords, or inject malicious inputs. Accessing the DOM. The document object model is the structure of an HTML document. You can use JavaScript to interact with and manipulate the DOM. 
Manipulating the DOM can help you test for vulnerabilities like cross-site scripting or manipulate forms and data. Number four, what is cross-site scripting or XSS? Cross-site scripting or XSS is a web security vulnerability that allows attackers to inject malicious JavaScript into websites, which is then executed in other users' browsers. This can lead to data theft, session hijacking, defacement, or phishing attacks. Types of XSS, stored XSS. The script is saved on the server and runs when users visit the page. Reflected XSS. The script is included in a URL or input field and runs immediately. DOM-based XSS. The attack happens within the browser by manipulating the web page structure. Exploiting cross-site scripting, or XSS. XSS is a security flaw where attackers inject malicious JavaScript into a website, causing it to run in a user's browser. Example of reflected XSS. If a website does not sanitize user input, an attacker can inject this script into a search bar. If the website reflects this input, the script will execute in the user's browser. If the website reflects this input without proper sanitization, the script will run, showing an alert with the message hacked on the user's browser. Bypassing XSS filters. Sometimes websites filter out certain characters, such as these symbols. However, there are ways to bypass these filters. Alternatively, using event handlers like on mouse over or on error can also trigger the execution of JavaScript. Number five, phishing. Using JavaScript, phishing attacks involve tricking users into submitting sensitive data, such as login credentials, by impersonating a legitimate service, creating a fake login form. With JavaScript, you can easily create a fake login form that looks identical to the real one. For example, this form sends the credentials to the attacker's server instead of the legitimate one. JavaScript can trick users into entering their credentials by mimicking a legitimate website. When a user types their username and password and clicks the login button, the JavaScript function captures the input values and secretly sends them to an attacker's server using a fetch request. Since the form looks real, users may unknowingly submit their sensitive data believing they are logging into a trusted site. This technique is commonly used in phishing attacks, making it crucial for users to verify URL, use multi-factor authentication or MFA, and rely on password managers to detect fraudulent login pages. Capturing user input. You can also capture the input from a legitimate form and send it to a malicious server using JavaScript. When a user submits a login form, the malicious JavaScript script listens for the submission event and captures the entered username and password before the data is sent to the legitimate server. Instead of processing the login normally, the script sends the stolen credentials to an attacker's server using a fetch request in the background. Because the form looks unchanged and functions as expected, the user remains completely unaware that their sensitive information has been compromised. This type of attack is commonly used in phishing campaigns and credential theft, making it essential for websites to implement security measures like input validation, content security policy, and strong authentication methods to prevent unauthorized data capture. Number six, manipulating the DOM for security testing. JavaScript lets you modify the DOM in ways that can help identify vulnerabilities in a website. Bypassing client-side validation, Many websites use JavaScript for client-side form validation, checking the length of a password or the format of an email. You can bypass this validation by manipulating the DOM. This script manipulates the document object model to bypass client-side security checks on web forms. By adding the noValidate attribute to a form, it disables JavaScript-based validation, allowing users to submit data that would normally be blocked. Additionally, it removes input restrictions such as max length, which websites use to enforce password length. Attackers can also pre-fill fields, making it easier to automate brute force attacks or inject malicious data. Since client-side validation is easily bypassed, secure input validation should always be enforced on the server side. Modifying HTML elements. You can also change the content of a web page using JavaScript, which can be useful in testing for vulnerabilities. This script manipulates a web page's HTML elements using JavaScript, which can reveal security weaknesses. It changes button text to mislead users, modifies form actions to redirect sensitive data to a malicious server, and injects new content into the web page. Attackers can use these techniques for phishing, social engineering, or DOM-based XSS attacks. Number seven. Automating attacks with JavaScript. 
JavaScript is great for automating tasks such as brute forcing login forms or performing repeated requests to an API. Brute forcing a login. Suppose you want to automate the process of brute forcing a login form. You could use a simple JavaScript loop to try different usernames and passwords. This script automates a brute force attack on a login form by systematically trying multiple username and password combinations. It loops through a list of common credentials and sends login requests using JavaScript's fetch function. If a correct username password pair is found, the script logs the success and stops further attempts. Attackers use this method to crack weak passwords and gain unauthorized access. To prevent brute force attacks, websites should implement rate limiting, CAPTCHA, and account lockout mechanisms after repeated failed login attempts. Ethical hackers use this technique for security testing to help strengthen authentication systems. Number eight, JavaScript in networking attacks. JavaScript is commonly used to send HTTP requests. This can be useful for sending unauthorized requests to API or interacting with web services. Making HTTP requests, you can send HTTP requests to servers directly from JavaScript using the fetch function API. This script demonstrates how JavaScript can be used to send unauthorized HTTP requests to an API using the fetch function. It sends a GET request to a target endpoint using a stolen authorization token to access restricted data. If the request is successful, it logs the retrieved data. Otherwise, it reports a failure. Attackers exploit weak API security to extract sensitive information, bypass authentication, or perform unauthorized actions. To prevent such attacks, websites should implement token expiration, cores restrictions, and strict authentication checks. Ethical hackers use this technique to identify API vulnerabilities and strengthen security. Number nine, scraping data from websites using JavaScript. JavaScript can be used to automate the process of scraping data from websites. You can interact with page elements and extract information directly from the DOM. Scraping data using JavaScript, you can scrape specific data from a page using query selector all function. This script scrapes data from web pages by selecting all anchor tags and extracting their H reference attributes, which contain URL information. It uses query selector all to find all links and then maps them into an array. The extracted URL are then logged to the console. Attackers and ethical hackers use this technique for reconnaissance, data collection, or automating web interactions. However, many websites implement anti-scraping measures like robots.txt, CAPTCHAs, and JavaScript-based protections to prevent unauthorized data extraction. Number 10, JavaScript vulnerabilities, insecure eval function. The eval function in JavaScript executes arbitrary code and is highly dangerous if used with untrusted input. For example, the eval function in JavaScript takes a string and executes it as code making it highly dangerous if used with untrusted input. In the example, if an attacker controls user input, they can inject malicious JavaScript, leading to XSS or even remote code execution. This can compromise a website's security by allowing attackers to run arbitrary commands in the victim's browser. Because of these risks, security best practices discourage the use of eval functions. Instead, Developers should use safer alternatives like JSON parse function for handling data and avoid executing dynamic code whenever possible. Insecure deserialization. If a web application uses eval function or JSON parse function to deserialize objects, attackers can inject malicious payloads. Like, insecure deserialization occurs when a web application improperly processes user-supplied JSON data, allowing attackers to inject malicious payloads. In this example, JSON parse function converts a JSON string into an object, but if the input is controlled by an attacker, they could modify it to escalate privileges, manipulate data, or exploit vulnerabilities. Some applications mistakenly use eval instead of JSON parse, which can execute malicious code instead of just parsing data. To prevent this, developers should always validate and sanitize user input before parsing JSON and avoid using eval function for deserialization to reduce security risks. JavaScript is a powerful tool for both ethical hacking and security testing, but it also introduces serious vulnerabilities when misused. We explored XSS attacks where malicious scripts can be injected into web pages and bypassing filters to evade security measures. We saw how JavaScript can be used for phishing, DOM manipulation, and brute force attacks, automating login attempts or scraping data from websites.
We also covered networking attacks using unauthorized API requests and the dangers of insecure eval function and deserialization, which can lead to code execution or privilege escalation. Understanding these concepts is crucial for identifying and fixing security flaws before attackers exploit them. If you found this video helpful, like, share, and subscribe for more cybersecurity content. See you in the next one.